everyone, Dan here and welcome back to another video where today we are back playing Crazy Craft. You guys destroyed it on the like button in the previous video. So, welcome to a Wednesday Crazy Craft. Good job, give yourself a round of applause. You earned it. But I'm actually really, really excited. Oh, jeez, I forgot to get rid of this. If you didn't see what happened last time, it was actually really, really good. Like, insanely good. So go and check that out if you haven't already. But we made some mannequins. Well, we made a mannequin. And Steve is being very, very creepy in the bottom right-hand corner of our screen. <laughs> but I actually have a really cool surprise for you guys. If we walk out... Wait, what? where did that come from? Why <laughs> why is there a toilet in our house? I mean, I'm not complaining, but um who put this here? Can we sit on it? We can. Press F for farts. What? The fart button's broke. The fart button is broken. That's not a good sign, but um, at least we oh, okay. Uh that's how it works. We get off the toilet and we get plopped outside. Fantastic. <laughs> But actually, this gives me a good opportunity to show you uh, the surprise that I have prepared. I have a very special visitor in the Crazy Craft world for our little section, and he is right behind me. Can I navigate this backwards? I don't even know. I really wish our rubber ducks were still here. I might see if there's if the rabbits laid any rubber duck eggs so we can see if we've got him. But if we turn around in a second, you will be revealed that Treoris has arrived. <laughs> he arrived while we were- oh jeez, look at all this diamond. This is so insane. We need to find like a better block that we can duplicate. Oh jeez, a red ant, go away, go away. There we go, nice. Joris, you better be ready for these red ants. How you doing, buddy? You doing okay? But he arrived in this crazy pod that's got this- I don't even know what that is. What is it? What is it? Show me. I can't even see it. It's like a lava thing. Really crazy stuff, but he's arrived and- oh my goodness, look how many ants there are. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. But um, yeah, he's arrived and uh, he's looking pretty uncomfortable. But we need a way to get him down. And I thought really hard about using the gravity gun. It's quite expensive, but I think we can afford it and... It's a gravity gun. Why wouldn't we want it? And I think that's a good way to get him out of that tube. Because I kind of, I don't want him to die. <laughs> I really don't want him to die. He's only just arrived now. When he does get out of there, we are going to need to build him a little place to go. Because there's not much room in the coffee cup right now. There's literally, well, zero room. So we've got a horse and two girlfriends and me sleeping in here. And it's, it's, it's very, very cramped. Especially when people keep building stuff in here. <laughs> but first off. Let's play with this mannequin because I have no idea how this works and I thought what would be cool is to place him here Okay, that kind of works We might need to put another slab here just to make him look a little less awkward But I think we should have like guards. Oh, maybe we can put him here. How do we get him back? How do we get him back? Let's see how this works save and load any mannequin right click to apply settings sneak and right click to save settings Can I just grab you back? I need you. I need you mannequin. Can I can I get you back, please? Mannequin. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's so weird. You throw him on the floor and it's literally a Steve just standing there. That's so cool. <laughs> right, we're going to place you here. That actually looks nice. We could have two. We could have one here and one here. You can be the keeper of the rubber ducks when we get the ducks and actually use the creeper. No, the zookeeper shards this time. So if we... Uh, how do we even use this? Mannequin tool. How do we even do this? I have no idea. So, save and load mannequin rotations. Right click to apply a setting. Sneak and right click to save settings. I've already saved the settings, but... Where did I get this steel axe from? I have no idea. I want to change your skin. Oh! Oh, okay. We can do this, can we? Um, I have no idea how to do this. Random. Oh, jeez. What did I do? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> right, I need to sleep because we need to see that properly. That looks pretty insane. <laughs> Where are you, Stevie? Stevie, Stevie, what's going on, buddy? What's, <laughs> what's happened to you? Let me do another random one. Okay, that's a little bit more interesting. These are really, really cool. I like them. How did we craft one of these again? We had to use an equipment cube, but we've got loads of those now. How do we make it? One, ah, oh, it's the pumpkin that we need. I don't know if there's any pumpkins local to here. I have no idea, but next time we come across a pumpkin, we definitely need it. And you can go away. How do you keep escaping? Do you keep glitching out of there? They've all disappeared. Oh, no, they're definitely still here. <laughs> they spawn so, so quickly. Oh, my goodness. Right, Stevie boy, how do we change your skin? We've got weapons that we can give you. Let's give him, let's give him this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's insane. That's so insane. Oh, uh, we don't want to give you that, though. That's a little bit stupid. We can give you, uh, 
I kind of need the axe, to be honest. What can we give him? Oh, we can give him this stuff. Nice. Let's give him this shiny, shiny armor. I think he'll like this. So give him this and this. And I can give him a skirt as well, as we've seen from Justin's little shenanigans. What else have we got? We've got the boots as well. Oh, that looks a bit weird. They only work if you stand in a normal way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. How do I reset, right? Let's reset him. Can I change? Oh, there's a baby as well. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, we need baby guards, but we need to give him like a sword or something. Can I give him a... What should I give him? I guess I could give him like an ultimate sword, but I kind of like the idea of him holding something like really random, like a, an arrow. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. He's like a, a jungle warrior. That's really cool. I like that. We can copy and paste it with... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, but I think we can copy and paste him with this. So if you put another mannequin down here, we can paste it with this tool. And we get two little jungle steves, which is pretty nice. Don't worry, Charis. I'll come back to you. Do not worry, buddy. I will get you out of there, but I've got some important stuff to do down here. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I think we should get a shield for him. I have no idea how we are going to... Oh, the shield pet looks kind of cool. We could give him a pet that actually kind of moves. That would be so cool. Have I got any spare pets on me? Because that would be really cool. Oh, yeah. And James gave me this. It's a surprise egg. And, oh. Um, I have no idea what these do. I think they're like lucky blocks, but they look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. They look very nice indeed. But I need to give him something else in his other hand. What can I give him? What can I give him? A plane? I mean, <laughs> a plane probably wouldn't help that much. Let's give him Pac Dan, actually, and see what he thinks of that. Pac Dan, meet your new friend, Steve. There you go. Did it work? It does work. Look, he's holding it. Right, can we make his right leg? No, left arm go up. How do you make it go up? I want it to hold him above his head and to the right. To the right. That way. There we go. Let's see if this works. Look at that. He's holding little Pac-Man. Oh, man. He could hold Cecil as well. This is so cute. I definitely need more of these, but I need to harvest pumpkins first. So I'm definitely going to keep that guy there. I will find out how to change their skins later on. I don't need to worry of that right now. But what we do need to worry about is the surprise egg. Please give me pumpkins. I would love that. Give me loads and loads of pumpkins. Right, I'm traveling away from my house to crack this open because I have no idea what they do, whether they're good, whether they're bad. But if they're like lucky blocks at all, then they can be either or. So I guess we right click them. Here we go. Boom. Oh, geez. What just happened? Whoa. Hello. Um, hello, clone. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> why are you here? Dan TDM, if that's your real name. I don't think it's your real name, though, is it? Ow! Jeez, don't punch me like that. We're friends. We're bros. We're buddies. I had no idea you could get clones. That is crazy. I need to kill you. I need to kill you. You're scaring me a little bit. Right, ultimate bow. To the face. To the face. To the face. Take it. There we go. <laughs> My ultimate bow doesn't have that much uh, that much durability left. I need to get on the duct tape grind. You know what? Just get out of here. You set me on fire as well. You think you're so funny, Mr. Clone? I don't think so. I don't think so. His armor is really good. Die! There we go. I can, I can warp into him. What did he drop? He only dropped rotten flesh. Well, that was interesting. Right, so I guess we better get on this, uh, this, this gravity gun hype then. So let's see if we've got the materials to do it. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. I love him already. Uh, right. What are we going to need for a gravity gun, huh? Gravity gun. We are going to need a supercharged one requires a nether star. We could actually make one of those. I don't know how many nether stars we're going to need in this let's play. Actually, let's go and see how many wither eggs we've got. If we've got any. Because those will be really handy. We've got some plain white eggs. Mosquitoes. Ew, gross. Right, let's see. <laughs> There's so many eggs in here. First off, let's see if we've got ducks in here. We have... No ducks. Okay, uh, what about rubber ducks? No, no rubber ducks. Okay, is it ducky? I have no idea. It is rubber ducky. I have no rubber ducky eggs. That's really upsetting. I do have 50 king eggs. That's pretty crazy. What was I gonna look for? What was I gonna look for? i completely forgotten. Um, wither. I was going to look for wither eggs, wither wart, wither pet. You can get wither eggs, but we have got none right now. So I'm not going to use my nether star just in case 
We need it for something else. We can always make a supercharged one later on, but we are going to need... What are we going to need? Let's let, let's Google it. That's what I'm going to call it. Let's Google it properly. Um, we need four ender pearls, one glowstone, uh, two iron, one diamond, and one obsidian. This is going to be fairly tricky. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Uh, we don't need these emeralds. Those can go in the, the valuables chest. There they go. We got some wool as well, which is good because we can craft another mannequin with that. One question is, do we have... We have ghosts, so it's a one, two, three, four. So let's quickly craft that. So we've got two bits of the puzzle. There we go. So we have one diamond. The problem might be ender pearls. Can you craft these? Can you craft ender pearls? Let's see. Uh, right, let's see if we've got any ender pearls. We need four, one obsidian, and two irons. So we can grab the two iron like this. Nether star is chilling in there. Um... Obsidian. Obsidian. Right, let's see if we can find any ender pearls, shall we? Ender. No. 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 There's an obsidian, though. I'll take that. Spotted very nicely. Uh, no ender pearls in there. Or there. Or there. I can see where this is going. Um, oh. Ender pearl dust. Can we craft ender pearls with that? We can smelt ender pearls into ender pearl dust. But can we use it? Yes. We can just make an ender pearl. Oh, that's so good. That's so good because I have no idea how to get an ender pearl otherwise. Right, we need four. So let's put them all. I still can't believe we've got a toilet. Uh, let's put them all in here. Four. It can make four exactly. Oh, this is the greatest day ever. Greatest day ever. Yes. Okay, we should be able to do this pretty quickly, actually. I thought we'd have to go and find something. Glowstone. Do we have everything? I think we've got everything, guys. Glowstone in the middle. Diamond. Two of these, and four of these, and one obsidian gravity gun. Welcome to the crew. Oh my goodness, I finally have a gravity gun. Oh, this thing is so awesome. Look, pow! <laughs> that is so cool. Right, we need to um, go and grab Treoris, I guess. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I guess I could grab out a piece of his... I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Uh, I might have to wait till daytime because I don't want Treoris to die. Um, I'm also a bit wary of him just, like, leaving. I don't want him to leave. You know what? Let's grab... Can I grab this glass? I can't grab this. I can't grab this. Oh, I can grab this. Oh, jeez. I'm pulling apart his thing. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. But I can take this. I can't take this either. Why can't I take stairs? Give me the stairs. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is going very wrong already. I didn't... Oh, no. Um, let's forget about that. Let's go to bed and think about what we've done. <laughs> oh, are you using the toilet? That is disgusting. That, <laughs> that is disgusting. My goodness. Right. Um, I definitely need to repair my... What's that noise? Did you hear that? Was that just this? Creepy. Creepy things are happening. Okay, I thought this was going to be a lot easier than um, now. Can I take this? Let me take his power source. Give me a power source. Okay, I got it. I got it. What do I do with it, though? I have no idea. Um, I'm just going to plop it down here for now. That'll do fine. As long as it doesn't burn anything. Don't burn anything, please. Does it burn me? Okay, it doesn't burn me. Can I grab the glass from beneath him? Come on. Reach it. Reach it. I can't grab the glass beneath him either. What kind of rocket ship is this, Treoris? I mean, come on. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> it's gone. It just gave up. It disappeared. It's gone. Okay. We're gonna have to think this through. Oh, there it is. We're gonna have to think, um, of getting him a different way out. Um, I'm thinking a little pool of water. We can do that, can't we? Uh, we've got a bucket somewhere. Do we have a bucket in our bag? No. Of course we don't. Uh, let me put those in there. We have a bucket somewhere, though. I saw one earlier. Bucket. There you go. Two buckets. Right, let's fill these with water. And then we should be able to gravity gun him out and in the water. I don't know. I don't know. I might just have to smash him out. I feel really bad, though. Right, give me this water, please. We've got a very important operation right now. We want to get Treoris out without killing him. Okay, let's take this and blow it out there. That goes really far. How good is the supercharged one? If that one does that well, we're gonna be we're gonna be absolutely awesome with the supercharged one. I think, actually, you might be able to use this to make a supercharged one if you put this with a nether star. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, though. Right, uh, where does this need to be? This needs to be here. So let's put a little bit here. Hopefully he lands in that. I mean, we could make it a little bit bigger. 
Let's do that, shall we? Let's make it a tiny bit bigger so he doesn't full-on kill himself. Because that would be... That would be tragic because he's only just traveled here. But, um, Charles, you ready? Charles, you ready? Um, I need to get a... Do I need to get a zookeeper shard for him? I have no idea. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Mannequin. Excuse me. <laughs> I've got one anyway. I'm gonna hit him with it anyway. He's gonna... He's gonna arrive in the world and I'm immediately gonna greet him by smacking him with a zookeeper shard. It should be fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, right. I need to get into a primed position to smash this. How can I smash this so quickly? Uh, I don't wanna hurt him either. Didn't quite think this through. Treoris! Treoris, I'm gonna get you out. I'm gonna bust you out, buddy. I'm gonna bust you out. Just be prepared for potential death. Uh, can I get this? I can't even get it. Right. I'm gonna have to nerd pole up there. I don't wanna use equipment cubes. Let's use these. Oh, jeez. I'll catch you with the gravity gun if I mess up. Don't you worry, buddy. Okay, you ready? You ready? Three, two, one, go. Hey, you did it. You did it. I am so proud of you. So proud of you. Welcome to Crazy Craft. I'm actually really worried to have you around because it's very dangerous here. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very dangerous indeed. But I do have this awesome gravity gun to keep you in check. Now, where do I keep Treoris while I build him something new? I think right here. <laughs> he definitely can't get out of here, right? Because Prince could get out of here. Granted, Prince had wings, but I think Jorah should be fine here. All he needs is... Oh, jeez, I've fallen down. I am... I'm stuck in here now. Great. Great news. Uh, I can use the piston boots, though. Jorah can't. Let's get out of here. We just need to give him a little bit of water, and we should be okay. So let's get that out of here and put this down here. That You should be able to use that, right? Oh! I got something you can use as well. I got something perfect. Did someone say toilet? <laughs> I don't think you did, but you are gonna have one anyway. There you go. Press F for farts, Traorus. That's what happens. Well, it didn't work with me, but you could try it anyway. Right, King Traorus is alive. Oh, I'm so happy with myself. Now, I don't really know what to do with myself. I kind of like this building over here. So this thing that he's got right here. I wonder if we could build him like a little Skylab thing. That could be quite cool. We could have a way for him to get up there. I think he might even be able to use water to get up there. Uh, where did my other bucket of water go? Did it just disappear? That's not fair. Let's grab this. And can we place the water like in it? I think we might be able to. Let's try. I do not want to spawn mosquitoes. That would be terrible. Let me try putting water in this little cubby hole here. So if we put that there, that should be fine. I think so. Treoris, are you going to like this? You better because I put so much effort into it. <laughs> I have literally put no effort into his arrival whatsoever. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, This should be fine. Let's pick that up. Can I not pick that up? Uh, there we go. Nice. I want to just make this a little bit neater. So let's make it so that it's literally just the one bit so that you can go up. Kind of like a... Can we get a colored water, actually? Let's have a look. So I kind of want it like a UFO's gravity beam. I think that will be awesome. But you can't get colored water. Um, element gun. Ooh, that sounds fun. We'll have to research those later. We have water, lava... Not sure if that's going to work. Blood, honey, uh, creosote, <laughs> bucket of fake water, fake lava, spirit bucket, and hollow tears. Do you want to go up a, a vat of hollow tears, Traoris? I think you might actually enjoy that. Oh, we almost forgot. Right, um, I almost forgot. He has got a name tag, but I want to slap him with this anyway. Can I slap you with this, buddy? Are you going to like it? Let me see. Uh, bam! No, don't you escape. Don't you escape. Don't use the toilet as an escape route, okay? Bam! There you go. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? I hope so. Right. <laughs> what is going on? I'm pretty sure the only way we can make this into a colored glass or colored water is by using glass. I think that's the only way we can do it because all the liquids are pretty terrible. I don't think there's any other like liquid we can use. No, we've got uh, tanks and stuff. Don't need that. Um, but next time, between now and next time, I think we should build Treoris a home. And I think it should float because that would be really, really cool. And it will fit quite nice above here actually. Because if we walk out of our house and turn to the right, we have Treoris as a neighbor. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Wait a second. Is that a sheep? Sheep! How you doing, buddy? I've been looking for you for so long. Have you been... Oh, my goodness. This sheep has been stuck there for so long. I remember this guy. 
This guy's been stuck here since I built the crown. Because look, he's only got a one little bit to, <laughs> to walk on. Oh, what a shame. I'm going to shear you right now. Give me, give me your wool. Give me your wool, you chump. There we go. You're just going to sit there. You're going to sit there and enjoy it. Actually, come here. Come here, buddy. I don't want to leave you all naked and alone on the edge of that little cliff there. You can buddy up with Treoris for now. Treoris, I need you to um, take on your first responsibility of this let's play, which is take care of the sheep. Take care of the sheep, please. <laughs> oh, I think I figured out how to do this. I think you might need to name tag them. Because if I remember correctly, Justin's had our little names above them. So we might have to do that. But to be honest, I kind of like the Steve's. But do I like it bigger or smaller? I think I might find out which, um, which armors look the best. So we can have like a really cool looking guard out the front. And he's not holding, like, a Pac-Man pizza, to be honest. The shield would be awesome if I can find a shield pet. But I'm pretty sure that little cloud up there is going to be looted, which is where you get the pets from. And we haven't got time in this episode to find another one. Are you, are you okay down there? I heard some explosions. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, guys, I think I am going to end this episode here because I have pretty much done what I was supposed to do today. We got the gravity gun and... Treoris is here! If you're excited, show your love on that like button. I am excited for Treoris to be here. He has 112 health. We have to make it so that he's involved. Oh, he's on the toilet. We need to look away. We, we can't be filming him. That's gross. But yeah, Treoris is here, and I'm going to try out his little beam here. Oh, jeez, we got really, really fast. This is awesome. Oh, there is one thing I want to try. Look at me. <laughs> I'm inside Treoris' beam. Oh, jeez. One thing I do want to try is, that could be cooler, is an elevator. We have elevator tracks. Oh, man. I was hoping for something from open blocks. You can literally just press space and it jumps. Anyway, I'm getting mega distractive because Truris was taking a, a dump or something. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support on this series. If you're excited for more, please do continue to support with that thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, Treoris is here. We are ready to build something epic for him over here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Press start.